Some mobile providers are charging up to 20 cents to listen to your voicemail messages. So is it time to hang up on your answer phone? Hi, it's me. Uh, I'm just checking to see where you are because you're not in yet, which is a bit unlike you. Yeah, give us a call. Okay, bye. Oh, you have got to be kidding. <sighs> no. You know those speedos that you knitted me? Do you want them? I thought maybe you might put them up on the wall or something, you know? Anyway, give me a call back or uh, I'll see you in the office soon. Okay, bye. Hi, it's me, just seeing where you are. Um, also, just a question, you haven't seen my Mike Hosking puppet, have you? Because it seems to have gone, oh, hold on, here it is here. Does that you that lost his eye? Anyway, I'll see you when you get in. Okay, bye. Tech expert Paul Spain is here. Thanks for your time tonight, Paul. Do all mobile providers charge customers to access the voicemail? Look, traditionally they did. Uh, two degrees don't. And if you're on a plan, then 1NZ and Spark NZ generally don't charge. Uh, but it is something that's probably worth checking, checking with your provider if you want to be absolutely sure. So why do we still have to pay for voicemails? Yeah, good question. It probably doesn't cost very much for our mobile networks to, to run the voicemail system, but there is a cost there. Uh, that said, they're always investing into new technology, so I guess they're always looking for how they can, they can make a return on, on every service that they're uh, providing. So, yeah, there's a little bit of that on charging going on uh, if you're on a prepay plan. Is there any way to turn off voicemails? Yes, you can turn off uh, voicemails on 1NZ and on uh, 2 Degrees. I don't think Spark offer that option. Uh, and, you know, of course, many people now are you know, maybe just putting a voicemail that says, hey, don't, a message, don't leave a voicemail, just send me a text instead. That's become very common. Is voicemail actually still a thing? I mean, does anyone under the age of 50, except for Jeremy, still use it? <laughs> Look, I, I think it, it certainly still it still has a use. There are you know situations where we miss calls, and you know they're not necessarily coming from somebody on a mobile, or they're coming from somebody that just wants the easy option, just to uh, leave a quick voicemail uh, and to move on. So it definitely still you know still gets that use. Probably around half the population uh, you know would be using voicemail uh, still today, but a, a lot of people uh, you know have inactive uh, voicemail accounts, so they have haven't checked for years and years. So there's probably a lot of voicemail there that are, you know, <laughs> stuck in limbo somewhere and will never, ever be listened to. Yeah, it's like a time capsule. What are some of the alternatives to voicemail, Paul? What's the best way to leave someone a message in 2023? Well, we've got a, a plethora of, of messaging, you know, platforms available to us today. Some people will send a text. Some people are going to use WhatsApp or Messenger or, you know, one of the many other platforms. Um, you can also send voice notes uh, through those platforms. Uh, so it, it has become probably a lot more complicated and we've got so many different ways to communicate now. Thanks, Paul. See you later. Okay. Cheers for that.